Hello guys, how are you all doing? This is the current affair that people are talking about now for a couple of days in the Gambian community. This man, he lived in the UK here and he was married to a woman who is in Gambia according to the stories people are talking about. And they have a problem. The marriage is not working anymore. They have a problem. And he exposed her pictures on the social media, Facebook, to punish her. This thing has been going on for a long time now in the community. People exposing each other's private parts picture when they're not happy with the person. And this is also one of the reasons why this community is scared of each other now, scared to get married, scared to do anything. Specialist women, people that expose pictures of people, doesn't matter they are men or women, they can never have peace because that person might have children or might have children tomorrow or might just have certain same. They choose not to be a porn star because they don't want to be. If they want to be a porn star, they will go and even get paid for it. And you have something that you have with them before, privately, and now you're not happy with them and you're going to expose it and you're not going to film yourself and expose it. You will never have peace, whoever is doing this, man or woman. But a lot of men are doing videos saying that this shouldn't happen. I saw them talking about this for three days now or so. But a lot of those men are campaigning for the women to be lied down, little girls, and, and FGM them. The disrespect of women is from when, when people are young, they used to it. When men are young, they used to seeing people disrespecting women from serious beating to blaming them for everything because they are a woman. Little girl I'm talking about. To just treat, treat the man better than the woman just because the man is a boy. A lot of African homes, they do that. The boy don't wash dishes. The boy don't do certain things. Just because it's a boy. And blame the girl for everything and not the boy. Some do it, they don't even notice it. Because it's too, it's too common that the girl has to be perfect and get blamed for everything so she can be perfect. So she can have a good husband or a good life. Clearly, they see that even when the woman is perfect, she's still going to have a bad husband if the husband is bad. Because you keep focusing on the girls, blaming them, torturing them, instead of talking to the men, teach them what a good man is by being a good man yourself. Especially when you're their father or uncle or anyone that they can see you and learn from you, even if you're a neighbor. But a lot of African people grow up seeing women being disrespected, starting from their father disrespecting their mother. And they're going to grow up like that as a man or a woman, thinking woman is nothing. That's why my mother is not respected. Some also come from a mom that don't know her word herself and neglecting herself, husband or not. But if the woman come from a home or a boy, the, the person come from a home that respect the woman, either the woman is married or not, she knows her dignity. And especially when she's married, either the person is their father or not, love and respect their mother and treat them like they should. Especially when they see a couple of other women's families, friends, or just people around them being respected as a woman. They have more chance of knowing what a woman is. Especially when you also tell them, remind them, and don't treat them like a king and treat the other girls like their piece of shit just because he's, the person is the man in the family or the girl is the girl in the family. But also the underage arranged marriages and the SA, they contribute to this. 90% of people all over the world that don't know their self-worth or just are doing certain things, boy or girls, I mean man or woman, 80% at least, they've been through SA or severe childhood trauma like torture, beating, neglect, especially SA, and the serious beating. And the African community, those two are rampant, very common. The SA, the serious beating. They can mar SA you by marrying you as a young child, especially African Muslim community. But also marry or not, they get SA, even for boys too. But whenever you talk about it, they say, yes, you're spoiling our name. You're making us look bad. You're already bad. Everyone knows that. 
especially Gambia. Gambia is, not, is known for sex land for older tourist people to go there and have sex with the young people for a reason. Because you yourself will torture your young people, neglect them or even estate them or even marry them young. So they used to older people, tourists or not, and you don't want that part to be mentioned. What a hypocrite, don't want to be developed, don't want the trauma and the misery and the failure that, that Africa is to end type of a mind you have. What type of mind anyone will have that will not want to talk about the cause of the problem? But we'll talk about the problem. If anyone knows this, this woman, I, I, I put that to, to cover her, you know, her, her face and the picture. Anyone know her, the one that this man is exposing on Facebook, let her contact me. My organization in Gambia can help her. And I am in the UK here. I can contact the police on behalf of my organization in Gambia for the man to be arrested and get deal with. No one should expose any pictures of a man or a woman. That's, that's what you have to know. I know this community can really hurt you when you marry to them because they train you to hurt people marry or not because they train you to beat you, torture you, neglect you and no one is allowed to talk about that, especially as a woman that they're FGMing and beating the men, torturing them too, and the, 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 the young girls too. And keep blaming the girl forever, of course, which means the girl is at fault anytime. And the punishments are never gonna end, of course. So this is just a tiny part of what our women are going through and will continue to go through, especially the next five, 10 years, if we continue watching. No one should do this, does it matter man or woman? I condemn this. Let's all tell the truth where this is from. This or not, the fact that the community, the 2% is the only genuine people that respect and love women. And will never do this or anything to make women cry genuine tears. This community have to agree that there are going to be a lot of bad love, bad marriages. Lot of people hurting you, love or not, because as long as you keep beating children and torturing them, and giving them injustice. They're gonna grow up, give you back what you give them. You are the one who taught them that. That's the only thing they know. They have to be a miracle person to learn the opposite from somewhere else. Exactly. So if you don't want that, change how you bringing them up. Change how you torturing them and giving them unnecessary pain, which nobody's allowed to talk about for that to stop. Look at Gambia right now. People campaigning, going miles away in the middle of the sun when they're fasting. For what? For FGM, for little girls to be put down and be FGM. To have pain, unnecessary pain. It's worth that. Are they going to march and campaign for the girls to have peace after they do that? No. They're going to see the girl crying in her marriage, 80% of them, especially the 50%. Because the husband is cheating and lying and marrying anybody else he wants, neglecting the first wife and the children. 50% of the Muslim, African Muslim communities like this. Their husbands, 50%. They, they, the, the wives are crying, especially the first wives. And the more children, the better. Especially when you don't have boys, how dare you? And the more children, the better. And the more children, the more they neglect you now. And the more they call you old and ugly. The more they depress you, the more they call you old and ugly. Running for the young person to sponsor them. To even marry them. Even if they know the person don't love them. If the person is with them for opportunity, they will still marry the person. And then be like, oh, they shouldn't marry me. They know they don't love me. You know they don't love you though. But you train them to not love themselves. And you train them to go with someone they don't love. Which is why right now you're campaigning for people to marry underage people and FGM them. The ban that the Gambians are campaigning to be removed, which I think is never going to be removed, is, on, uh, uh, is postponed now for the next couple of months, but I believe they will never remove it. The international community will not allow that type of child abuse and call it whatever. But the ban they want to remove is underage marriage, is covering underage marriage and, and, and FGM. They want that to be removed so they can continue marrying young people. They will even tell you physically 18 years old are too old, and if you want to wait that long to marry them, they will get pregnant by somebody else. So let me pregnant them and I'm going to call myself married. So you're not going to blame me. 
Instead of talking to the person that is pregnant in them. And instead of having the amount of children you can look after and teach them self-love and dignity, put them to school, don't beat them and torture them until they have pain and trauma so they can be chasing love. This is not a joke. This, this community is messed up and it's not a joke. This is just a tiny bit. But sorry to this woman and let her contact.